If you like our video, click the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and get easy access to new content. To see our full suite of ad-free video courses and training materials, visit us at teachucomp.com. There may come a time when you will be unable to collect money owed from a customer. You want to track this money so your income reports show you do not expect to collect this money. To do this, you must review and record the bad debt in QuickBooks Online. To review the invoices to consider for bad debt, run an Accounts Receivable Aging Detail Report by clicking the Reports link in the navigation bar, and then clicking the Accounts Receivable Aging Detail link in the standard page that appears to the right. This report helps you find the invoices to write off as bad debt. Next, you'll need to create a bad debts expense account if you don't already have one. To create a bad debts expense account if needed, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Chart of Accounts link under the Your Company heading in the menu that appears to open the Chart of Accounts page. Then click the New button in the upper right corner of the account list to open a new account window. In this window, select Expenses from the Account Type dropdown. Then select Bad Debts from the Detail Type drop-down. If needed, type Bad Debts into the Name field. Then click the Save and Close Choice from the drop-down button in the lower right corner of the window to finish creating the Bad Debts account. Next, if needed, create a non-inventory item in the Products and Services list for Bad Debts to act as a placeholder for accounting purposes in the credit memos you will later apply to the Bad Debt invoices. You'll only need this one item, so if you have already created this item from dealing with previous bad debts, you won't need to create it again. However, if you need to create a bad debts item, click the Settings button in the QuickBooks Online toolbar, and then click the Products and Services link under the Lists heading in the menu that appears to open the Products and Services page. In this page, click the New button in the upper right corner of the page to open a new Product Service Information pane at the right side of the window. Then click the Non-Inventory Choice to show the next pane. In the Name field, type Bad Debts. Then use the Income Account drop-down to select the Bad Debts Expense Account. Select Non-Taxable from the Sales Tax Category drop-down. Then click the Save and Close drop-down button in the lower right corner of the pane to save the item and close the pane. After creating the account and item if needed, to then create a credit memo to apply to invoice amounts you want to write off as bad debt, click the plus new button in the navigation bar, and then select the credit memo command to open the credit memo window. Select the name of the customer whose invoice amount you want to write off from the customer dropdown. Then click into the Product Service column in the first line of the line items area below and select the bad debts item. Then enter the amount of bad debt to write off for the corresponding invoice into the amount field. Then type something like bad debt into the message displayed on statement field. Then click the save and close command from the drop down in the Windows toolbar to save and close the credit memo. If QuickBooks Online is set to automatically apply credits, then the credit memo is then automatically applied to the customer's oldest invoice in a payment that is automatically created. Alternatively, if you are manually applying customer credits to then manually apply the bad debt credit memo to the uncollectible invoice, click the plus new button in the navigation bar and then click the receive payment command under the customer's heading in the menu that appears to open the receive payment window. In this window, select the name of the customer with the bad debt invoice from the customer dropdown. In the outstanding transactions list below, make sure the uncollectible invoice is checked to mark it as selected. In the credit section below that, make sure the credit memo for the corresponding selected invoice amount is also checked and selected. Then click the save and close choice from the dropdown in the toolbar at the bottom of the window to save and close the receive payment window. The amount of bad debt recorded by your received payment is then added to your bad debts expense account which appears in your profit and loss report.
If you want to show a detailed report of the credit memos linked to the Bad Debts Expense account, you can run an account quick report on it by clicking the Bad Debt Expense Accounts Run Report link under its Action column within the Chart of Accounts list to view those transactions. Remember to click the subscribe button to see more of our videos. Get ad-free courses at teachucomp.com.